June 1st marks the beginning of a new marketing year for U.S. wheat producers. The U.S. winter wheat crop was planted last fall and will be harvested this summer. USDA recently projected that the hard red winter wheat crop, which is grown mostly in the southern plains and represents the majority of U.S. wheat production, will be the smallest since 1963 as a result of ongoing drought. The SRW crop grown in the Midwest should be better by comparison. The U.S. spring wheat crop is grown in the northern plains. This is a crop that is planted in the spring and harvested in the fall. Key growing areas of the northern plains dealt with drought last year, but have seen significant relief since. Spring wheat acreage may be larger than March intentions due to slow corn planting. Farmers may simply switch some acreage away from corn and into wheat amid a cold, wet spring. Farmers are eyeing wheat prices that sit near all-time highs. A continuation of these high prices could result in much larger U.S. winter wheat plantings this coming fall.